Hey guys, just a quick Fusion 360 tip for creating your own post processor. If you find yourself like I do making a lot of corrections to the generic post processors that are available in Fusion 360, I mainly use the Mach 3 post processor when I'm running my mill. Uh, the Mach 3 mill dot cps it's just a generic mach 3 mil post processor and then over here you can it will allow you to change some of the options do you want an m1 optional stop in between operations i do not so i select no do you want to use a g28 i do not so i select no so these right here are configurable in the post processor tab but if you wanted to create your own post processor you can do this by simply opening up the configuration file and then these are the post process configurations and if you look on line 37 It says user defined properties and these are those things you can change that were in that uh, tab but you can permanently change them and then name this uh, for your specific machine so right here where it says use G28 I do not like to do that so right here you can change this to false make sure you use lowercase uh, if you want to use an M6 macro, make sure that says true. If you want to show your sequence numbers, make sure that's true. Otherwise, I do not, so I'm, I, I set my defaults. An M1 optional stop in between operations, I do not. So I change that to false. And there are other different things that I'm just not familiar with that you could change but once you get those basic things changed you can save this so go to file save as and just rename it to whatever you want uh, I named mine PM 727M Mach 3 mil, but you can name it whatever you would like. And then when you go to the post processors, you will have that as one of your options. And you can select it, and it will always be the, configured the way that you want. So that's just one quick tip for creating your own post processor in Fusion 360. So thanks for watching the video. Please feel free to comment if you have any questions. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe and most importantly be safe.